Okay, so we can start on happy Ekadeshi to everyone once again. Spotlight also. Yes. Hare Krishna, so who is there for starting? Yeah, Hemi Mataji, please go ahead. Hare Krishna Mataji. Uh, yes, Mataji. Sri Yudhishthir Maharaj said, O Madhusudana, O killer of the Madhu demon, please be merciful to me and describe to me the Ekadashi that occurs during the light fortnight of the month of Shravan, July to August. The Supreme Lord Sri Krishna replied, Yes, O King, I shall happily narrate to to narrate the glories to you, for just by hearing about the sacred Ekadashi, one uh, attains the merit of performing a horse sacrifice. Hare Krishna, you can see Mataji. Hare Krishna. Okay, uh, so next, Isha Upanishad Mataji. Sorry, Mataji. Yeah, Isha Upanishad Mataji, please go ahead. At the dawn, Hare Krishna, at the dawn of Dwapa Yuga, there lived a king by the name of Mahitya, who ruled the kingdom of Mahasmati Puri. Because he had no son, his entire kingdom seemed utterly cheerless to him. A married man who has no son gains no happiness in his life or the next. The Sanskrit word for son is putra. Pu is the name of a particular hell, and tra means to deliver. That's okay. the word? That's the word putra means a person who delivers one from the hell named Pu. Therefore, every married man should produce at least one son and train him properly. Then the father will be delivered from a hellish condition of life. But this injunction does not apply to the serious devotees of Lord Vishnu or Krishna, but our Lord becomes their son, father, and mother. Furthermore, Shanaka Thank Pantita you, Mataji. says... Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, thank you, Mataji. Janaki Vishnu Priya Mataji. Furthermore, Chanakya Pandita says. Okay. Uh, furthermore, Chanakya Pandit says, Satyam Mata Pita Janma Dharmo Bharta Daya Shakaha Shantin Patri Kshama Putraha Sadite Mama Vandhavaha. Truth is my mother, knowledge is my father. My occupational duty is my brother. Kindness is my friend. Tranquility is my wife. And forgiveness is my son. These six are my family members. Among the 26 leading qualities of a devotee of the Lord, forgiveness is the topmost. Therefore, devotees should make an extra endeavor to develop this quality. Here, Chankya says, um, forgiveness is my son. And thus, a devotee of the Lord, even though he may be on the path of renunciation, may observe this Akadashi and pray to attain this kind of a son. For a long time, this king tried very hard to obtain an heir, but, no, but to no avail. Seeing his years advancing ever onwards, King Mahijita became increasingly anxious. Thank you. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Yes, Harita Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Oh, happy Kadashi to everyone. One day he told an assembly of his ad advisors, I have committed no sin in this life and there is no ill-gotten wealth in my treasury. I have never asperred, asserved the offering to the demigods or brahmanas. When I waged war and conquered kingdoms i followed the rules and regulations of the military art and i have protected my subjects as if they were my own children i punished even my own relatives if they broke the law and if my enemy was gentle and religious i welcomed him O oh, twice born souls Although I am a religious and faithful follower of the Vedic standards, still my home is without a son. Kindly tell me the reason for this. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you, Mataji. Shishmita Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Thank you. Hearing this, the king's Brahmana advisor discussed 
the subject among themselves and with the aim of benefiting the king they visited the various ashrams of the great sages at last they came upon a sage who was austere pure and self satisfied and who was strictly observing a vow for of fasting his senses were completely under control he had conquered his anger and he has expert at performing his occupational duty indeed this great sage was expert in all the conclusions of the vedas and he had extended his life span to that of lord brahma himself his name was loma sarisi and he knew part present past present and future after each kalpa past one hair would fall out of his body one kalpa or 12 hours of lord brahma equals to uh, four, 432 crores years mm. all the kings brahmana advisers very happily approached him one by one to offer their humble respects thank you mataji hari krishna thank you mataji hari krishna ji yeah vinita gandavi kamta ji yeah captivated by the by this great soul king mahishmati advisor offered to him and said uh, and said very respectfully oh Um, only be only because of your good great good fortune o oh, sage have we been allowed to see you loma harshana rishi saw them bowing down to him and replied kindly let me know why you have come here why uh, why are you praising me i must do all uh, all i can to solve your problems for this for the sages like me have only one interest to help others do not doubt this loma harshana rishi had all good qualities because he was a devotee of the lord um i i i'm not able to read that verse mataji anybody can recite after that i can continue if you want yeah okay loma sir rishi had all good qualities because he was a devotee of the lord As stated in the Shrimad Bhagavatam 5.18.12, Yes, yes, the bhakti ir bhagavati akin chana sarva ir gune satra sama sata suraha harava bhaktasya kuto mahat guna mano rate na sati davato bahi hi. Yes, uh, Vinita Mataji, do you wish to continue? Yeah. Yes, Mataji. In in one who uh, has unflinching devotional service to Krishna, all good qualities of Krishna and demigods are constantly manifest. However, oh, he who has no devotion to the supreme personality of Godhead has no good qualification because he is engaged by mental concoction in material existence, which is eternally it eternal future of the Lord. Um, thank can, you, shall I continue thank or anybody? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mat. Yeah, Sri Ishu Panishad Mataji, I saw your hand raised. Do you want to uh, continue reading? Jai Hari Krishna. The king's yes. representatives said, "We have come to you, O exalted sage, to ask for your help in solving a very serious problem. O sage, you are like Lord Brahma. Indeed, there is no better sage in the entire world. Our king Mahitya is without a son, though he has sustained and protected us as if we were his sons." Seeing him so unhappy on account of being sunless, we have become very sad. O oh, sage, and therefore we have entered this forest to perform severe authorities. By our good fortune, we happened upon you. Everyone's desire and activities become successful just by your darshan. Thus, we humbly ask that you tell us how our king can obtain a son. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Uh, anyone else who would like to introduce please uh, raise your hands uh, vinita gandarika mataji do you want to read yes mataji i can read mataji uh, yeah. where mataji can you can you yes someone else ra raised janaki mataji please go ahead yeah janaki mishnu priya mataji please go ahead um yeah uh, hearing their sincere plea Lo loma rishi i think um it's too high okay observed observe himself okay observed himself in a deep meditation for a moment and at once understood the king's previous life then he said your ruler was a merchant in his past life and feeling his wealth insufficient he committed sinful deeds he traveled to many villages to trade his goods 
once at noon on the day after the Ekadashi that comes during the light fortnight of the month of Jetsha, Sri Brikama, May, June, he became uh, thirsty and while traveling from place to place, he came upon a beautiful pond on the outside of a village. But just as he was about to drink at the pond, a cow arrived there with her newborn calf. These two creatures were also very thirsty because of the heat. But when the cow and the calf started to drink, the merchant rudely shoved them aside and selfishly slacked his own thirst. This offense against a cow and her calf has resulted in your king's being without a son now. But the good deeds he performed in his previous life have given him rulership over the undistur un undisturbed kingdom. Thank you. Someone else Thank can. you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. So I shall read here. So anyone who wish to read, please raise your hands. Meanwhile, yeah, I can see him raise hands here. Yeah, Sri Devi Mataji, please go ahead. He traveled to many villages to trade his goods. Once at noon, on the day after the Ekadeshi that comes during the light fortnight of the month of Jesht, Trivikram, May, June, he became thirsty while traveling from place to place. He came upon a beautiful pond on the outskirts of a village. But just as he was about to drink at the pond, a cow arrived there with her newborn calf. These two creatures were also very thirsty because of the heat. But when the cow and the calf started to drink, the merchant rudely shoved them aside and selfishly slaked his own thirst. This offense against a cow and her calf has resulted in your king being without a son now. But the good deeds he performed in his previous life have given him rulership over an undisturbed kingdom. Thank you, Mataji. Uh, Veronika Mataji. Or Prabhuji, Veronika. Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and Guru Maharajis. Hearing this, the king's advisors replied, Oh, renowned, renowned Rishi, we have heard that the Vedas say on, one can nullify the effects of one's past sins by acquiring merit. Be so kind as to give us some instruction by which our king's sins can be destroyed. Please give him your mercy so that a prince will take birth in his family. Lomasa Rishi said, There is an Ekadashi called Putrada, which comes during the light fortnight of the month of Shravana. On this day, all of you, including your king, should fast and stay awake all night, strictly following the rules and regulations. Then you should give the king whatever merit you gain by this fast. If you follow these instructions of mine, he will sure, surely be blessed with a fine son. Thank you, Mataji. Akansha Ravat Mataji. Uh, Hare Krishna, Mataji. All the king's advisor became very pleased to hear those words from Lomasha Rishi, and they all offered him their grateful obeisances. Then, their eyes bright with happiness, they returned home. When the month of Shravan arrived, the king's advisors remembered the advice of Lomasha Rishi, and under their direction, all the citizens of Mahishmati Puri, as well as the king, fasted on Ekadashi. And on the next day, Dwadashi, the citizens dutifully offered their acquired merit to him. By the strength of all this merit, the queen became pregnant and eventually gave birth to a most beautiful son. O oh, Yudhishthira, yeah, I can finish it, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Yudhishthira. Yeah, I can finish it. Continue, Mataji. Sorry, you <laughs> continue. Everyone. O oh, Yudhishthira. O oh, Yudhishthira. O oh, Yudhishthira, Lord Krishna concluded, the Ekadashi that comes during the light fortnight of the month of Shravan has thus rightfully become famous as Putrada, the stower of a son. Whoever desires happiness in this world and the next should certainly pass from all grains and legumes on this holy day. Indeed, whoever simply hears the glories of Putrada Ekadashi becomes completely free of all sin is blessed with a good son and surely ascends to heaven after death. Thus ends the narration of the glories of Shravan Shukla Ekadashi or Putradha Ekadashi from the Bhavishya Purana. Hare Krishna. 
Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, dear devotees. Pavitra Paneka Teshiki Jai. Thank you all to all for participating in this reading and for your service. Hare Krishna. So we can end the call here. Hare Thank you, Mataji.